Hi, it's Yin Tin, and today we're going to read a book that is so interesting. It's about infinity and me. And what is this idea of infinity and forever, and what does it mean, and how does it relate to me? So I love this book, and I hope you guys love this book too. Here we go. Infinity and Me. Illustrations by Gabby Selakoska, written by Kate Hosford. The night I got my new red shoes, I couldn't wait to wear them to school. I was too excited to sleep, so I went outside and sat on the lawn. When I looked up, I shivered. The sky seemed so huge and cold. How many stars were in the sky? A million? A billion? Maybe the number was as big as infinity. I started to feel very, very small. How could I even think about something as big as infinity? At school the next day, I asked my friend Charlie how he imagines infinity. That's easy, Uma, he said. It's a giant number that keeps growing bigger and bigger forever. I thought about trying to write that number down. Even if I lived forever, I would never finish. I went to get ice cream after school with my best friend, Samantha. Sam, I asked her, when you think about infinity, what do you see? I see the infinity symbol, she said. It looks like a kind of eight that fell over and took a nap. If it were a racetrack, I could drive it around forever. Samantha made me feel a little bit better. Riding that symbol wouldn't take long at all. I traced a napping eight in the dirt with my shoes. Before school the next day, I asked Grandma how she imagines infinity. She smiled at me and said, I like to think about a family. First, you have the great-grandparents, then the grandparents, parents, children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. It could go on forever. I couldn't really imagine that many people in one family. But I did realize something. It was hard to talk about infinity without talking about forever. I also realized something else. Not one person had noticed my new red shoes. Not even Grandma, who usually notices everything. I looked down to make sure they were still shiny. Then I started to wonder, what would I like to do forever? At first, I thought I might like to have recess forever. But if there's no school before recess, and no school after recess, is it really recess anymore? Maybe I'd like to be eight forever. But I didn't know if Samantha would still want to be my best friend when she was 85 and I was still eight. Maybe I could lick an ice cream cone forever. But what if my tongue started to hurt? Actually, my head was starting to hurt from all these thoughts. When I went to the lunchroom, I asked our cook, Mr. Machini, how he imagines infinity. He held up a noodle. How many times do you think you could cut this in half, he asked. I cut it in half six times but then it got too small and I was afraid I might cut my finger instead of the noodle. In your mind, Mr. Machini said, could you cut that tiny piece of noodle in half forever? I asked Ms. Reed, our music teacher, about infinity and wished I hadn't. Picture music that goes in a circle, she said. The notes would lead us around and around. The music would be endless. I was starting to think that my questions about infinity might be endless. It was time for me and my red shoes to go home. For dinner, Grandma made my favorite meal, butter chicken and rice. 
As she mixed the spices, she looked at me and said, Uma, I meant to tell you this morning, those are the most beautiful shoes I have ever seen. I didn't hear the rest of what Grandma said. I was too busy smiling. Right then I knew. My love for her was as big as infinity. That night I asked her if she would like to look at the stars with me. Snuggled up next to Grandma, the sky didn't seem so huge and cold anymore. Now it was more like a sparkly blanket covering us both. So I hope you liked that story and uh, made you have really interesting thoughts. What is infinity? What is forever? Who am I? How is it all connected? So enjoy your deep thoughts and uh, happy reading. Bye.